Mm -hmm. This is 9-11 than it was the final car ever made. Today, I'm going to take a look at the final car. Before I 9-11, a brief overview. 9-11 came out for the 2010 model year. Before Saab went down in a 911, two engine options. You could get a six horsepower turbo V300 or a 220 cylinder with turbo four horsepower, which is what this car has. So anyway, today I'm going to show you around the final 95. Then I'm gonna get it out on the road and drive it. And then I'm going to get it out on the road and drive it. And for more of my thoughts on this, click the link below to visit autotrader.autotrader slash autotrader. I'm gonna just turn on the car. more power. Ah, but to me, that green screen, green, 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 green. Another one of the quirks of the Saab is the little night panel button to the right of the steering wheel. Now, 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 you push night panel and it turns off the light. That's a pretty good idea, pretty good idea, pretty good idea. Now, moving further into the center of the Saab, you can see in the center control stack that some of these buttons to control stuff are chipping, they're fading, they're wearing, basically. And the car no longer exists. So the driver can have the climate control vent positioned towards the passenger. The passenger can have the vent positioned towards the driver. Air is blowing on both of them. They're both turned on. And speaking of interesting Saab quirks, Next, we move on to the rather unusual center console. Now, this center console has three center console. The four-cylinder, you can see, it's just a normal V8. There could have been a Saab 9.5. Now, since I'm outside the 9.5, I want to mention styling. Now, I'm obsessed with Saabs. A lot of times, I find them in homes and driveways and garages. I'm really, really, really into them. But I have to admit, this is a really attractive car. Very, very stylish car. With that said, I've always found this car to be a little bit weird and kind of stupid. You can see how these lines on the door kind of come to a point down here on the door. Makes sense. And so Saab stuck this come <laughs> Next up, moving around back. You'll notice the turn signals are turn signals are very, 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 very fast. That's because the car thinks the rear turn signal bulbs are the rear turn signal bulbs. And next up, moving on to the trunk, there are a couple of interesting details in the trunk. One are these trunk mounted slot cars. <laughs> Okay, that was interesting. Next up, a lot of trunks have trunks. The MSRP of this car was $47. Now, I like this car, but uh, I like this car. But moving back into the interior to go over some of this car's tech features, I'm going to start with that circular green screen in the middle of the gauge cluster. This screen gives you various pieces of information you can scroll through your by percentage. Not that anyone cares about that. The other interesting thing I find in that screen is that it offers you a airplane. It's Another interesting setting in the infotainment system, if you keep scrolling through the navigation settings, you will find that it offers you the ability to turn on or off fuel. Oh no, when I'm out of gas. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, moving on to the back seat. You got back seat. Now it's time to get behind the wheel and drive it. All right, driving the final nine Five. Um, I, I still can't believe that this was a seven dollar car only forty eight thousand years ago. It doesn't feel like that. But 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 it's decent. The infotainment system is infotainment system. The interior is starting to peel. It doesn't look that nice, but it also doesn't look that nice. And General Motors did not do so well. And so that's the final sob. The truth is, this is a car. And now it's time to give it a Doug score. Starting with the weekend categories and daily categories, giving it a 10 out of 10. Car that makes it the worst vehicle I've ever tested. Shockingly, it beat out the E39 BMW M5. Oh, oh no, when I'm out of gas.